unfortunately, the report and its intent are subjective, going by what we are able to glean from it. The report in its executive summary said, throughout the year, Shia Muslims under the auspices of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMN, conducted a series of demonstrations, including several in July, against the ongoing intention of IMN leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki, resulting in violent confrontations between protesters and security forces, which left as many as 30 dead, including protesters and police. Another noteworthy excerpts from the reports are terrorist groups, including Boko Haram and ISIS West Africa, attacked population centers and religious targets and maintained a growing ability to stage forces in rural areas and launch attacks against civilian and military targets across the Northeast, according to observers. The report further speculated that conflicts between predominantly Muslim Fulani herdsmen and predominantly Christian farmers in North Central states continued throughout the year, although the violence was lower than during the 2017 and 2018 spike, reportedly due to government intervention and efforts of civil society to resolve conflicts. Gentlemen of the press, from the foregoing, you can see that the United States 2019 International Religious Freedom Report concluded on Nigeria is rather degrading on the nation. If Boko Haram's crimes are being committed in Nigeria, can the United States, then the United States must accept joint responsibility as the nation that created the atmosphere that allowed these terrorists to thrive and torment Nigerians of all religious shades. The U.S. activities in the Middle East and North Africa supported the growth of ISIS brand of terrorism and also flooded those areas with weapons that have found their ways into the hands of Boko Haram terrorists. Furthermore, we observe that the report significantly relied on secondary sources like news reports. Unfortunately, these reports that are relied upon were dominated by fake news and organizations that are involved in the manufacture of dissent. The United States must know that it ought not to act on fake news as this attracts, distracts from the global standing. We want to categorically tell the United States that it is tried that the government of Nigeria has the mandate to work for the well-being of all Nigerians. And the military has the mandate to protect the territorial integrity of Nigeria. And that is and continues to be work in progress. If the US is interested in intervening, our belief is that it should start by not paying lip service to issues of Boko Haram ISWAP and other terrorist activities that thrives because of its geo strategic activities like supporting our Nostra affiliations in Syria, which in turn ship their US supplied weapons to Boko Haram and ISWAP. <laughs>